Bobby and Benny they are about a year old. Uh, they are terrier mixes of some sort. We're not quite sure, but you can tell from the tail, tail, wiry, curly hair that they have terrier in them. Um, as you can see, they love to play with soft toys. As you can also see, they are very active, very high energy. They would love to go on walks and hikes and uh, play with their toys every day. They would be great dogs to uh, take to agility class, any kind of dog sports. The more activity, the better for them. <laughs> Once they get their exercise, they do calm down quite a bit. Playing with their toys is a great way to give them exercise. They have both been to our Good Manners class here at the Marine Humane Society, and they've both done very well. They're both very quick learners. They would love to learn to do other things. They love to be praised. Since they've been here with us, they've learned how to sit down. Uh, they enjoy learning. They enjoy pleasing people. Not only do they want to learn what pleases you, but they love getting rewarded for it too, which makes training them a lot of fun. So this is Bobby. Bobby's the smaller one. And Bobby loves, loves to be held. Good boy. Loves to be petted. You can see he's very affectionate. So this is, this is Betty, who like his brother Bobby, loves to give kisses. Very good. They, bo they do both like to hang out in your lap and be petted. Benny is the more confident of the two. Bobby um, is a little more sensitive. They're both very loving. They enjoy being petted. They both equally like people love people. Bobby and Benny would do best in a home that is active and busy. They, um, they would do well with sturdy children, 12 years old and older. They love to be a part of the activity, be part of what's going on, be very, very busy, going for rides in cars, going for walks, going for runs. If you have a home where no one is, is there most of the time, then they're not the right dog for you. They do need to be with their people most of the time. But mainly they need to be kept busy, busy, busy. They can go to a home together. And you can see that if they did go to home together, they would keep each other very, very busy. But they don't need to. Their primary focus is on people. So they are perfectly fine being adopted separately. They do need to go to a home that does not have cats. Cats are too much of a temptation to chase. They actually are okay with other dogs. They're just very, very cute, fun, happy dogs. And you know, a lot of people don't see that when they come to the shelter and see them in their kennels.